Shalom to Eric Fingerhut, President and CEO of the Jewish Federations of North America. Shalom, Shalom Yoni. So these 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, however you count them, are very intense, very complicated. Well, it's 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 obviously very uh, nerve wracking. Uh, you know, we have the Jewish community uh, in the United States has traditionally been very politically active uh, on 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 both sides for both parties and in both government in governments on all sides, uh, and uh, and so this is something that has been felt very intensely. Uh, it's very emotional for people. We care deeply about this country. Uh, whichever side of the divide we're on, uh, the United States has been, uh, you know, is a welcoming and open and uh, a supportive society uh, for for the Jewish community, um, and we care deeply about it. So, so there's been a lot of emotion invested in this. The fact that it's the election is so close uh, is, I think, something that we really have to take deeply to heart, uh, which is to realize that uh, that our communities are divided. You know, Israel just went through three elections uh, where uh, with very hotly contested sides. And ultimately, uh, you know, the divisions uh, were remained and, and the, 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 the results didn't vary that much from one to the next. In some ways, you can say the same thing about us from 2016 to 2020. Um, the truth is, is it hasn't changed much. The 2016 was a very close election. President Trump won, but only by a tiny, tiny margin across, you know, a very few states, Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Uh, those are the same, very same states that are that are uh, in the in the uh, in the limelight right now and are on the margin. And, uh, you know, if he wins, it'll be slightly the same by just a slight margin. If he loses, if, if the Vice President Biden wins, it'll be by a very slight margin. So I think we have to recognize that we're we're divided country and we need to work together and commit to work together to bridge those differences, to talk to each other, to try to find common ground so we can move our, our country forward. As a Jewish community, uh, it's important for me to make sure that everybody knows that we have always worked together uh, to help uh, flourishing Jewish life, to care for each other, to care for Israel and Jews around the world uh, across those political differences and we'll continue to do so. Now, how much is this divide felt inside the Jewish community? Well, within the Jewish community, uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, that we have we probably uh, over the recent months have avoided having political conversations uh, with folks uh, with whom we disagree because, again, the emotion of it, uh, people felt so strongly on on, on each side. Uh, and so I think what we've seen is a, a little bit of a self-segregation. Uh, uh, you know, some of that is natural, uh, which is that we know that uh, people tend to, uh, uh, you know, organize uh, together uh, in communities of like minds. Uh, uh, and so in some ways you might have a synagogue that more fully leans one way and another synagogue that more fully leans another way. Um, uh, and so, but, but we, you know, at the Jewish federations, we have officers of the Jewish federations of North America who are very clearly active on each side. Um, and, you know, every once in a while we'll tease each other or there'll be a little bit of a, a joke or a moment, uh, but mostly we've avoided it and we, uh, uh, and we work together on behalf of the Jewish community and our common interests. But, but we're going to have to clearly engage in dialogue to foster understanding, not necessarily to change somebody's mind, but to make sure that we really do understand uh, where, uh, where each side is coming from so we can find common ground on the things that, you know, that, that matter. We need help uh, coming. We're still struggling with COVID in the U.S. as you are in Israel. Uh, we need help with reopening of our schools, with testing, with uh, if there's a vaccine, how are we going to make all that available? Um, we, uh, you know, security is a huge issue for the Jewish community. We need to work together on these issues in our political processes in Congress and with the president. And so we're going to have to, we have to be unified and we have to, uh, we have to be able to work together across, across differences. So we have to talk about it to make sure we're, we're unified. Now, do you feel that this time especially was very much about who's good for the Jews, who's bad for the Jews, who's good for Israel, who is bad for Israel? Yeah, look, I, I, I want to say, I, I urge us to have a little historical perspective. 
I don't think this is the first time uh, there have been voices raised in a presidential election about whether which candidate uh, is good for the Jews or not, uh, or better. Uh, and as you know, there are differences of opinion on that question uh, in the U.S. Jewish community, just as there is in Israel, right? You have folks on both sides uh, who would argue uh, which administration would have been better or is, has been better uh, for uh, for Israel and the U.S. Israel relationship, so I I don't think this is that that this is new. Um, you know, certainly uh, the we live in a a time. First of all, let's let's be let's acknowledge. You know, President Trump's uh, personality is one of uh, uh, of, uh, of exaggeration, maybe bombast. I don't know if the, what the right word would be. Uh, and so he he visibly wanted to be in that debate, which is uh, you know which which exacerbated in some way. Um, but uh, look, these have been historic times. The decisions. Uh, that the Trump administration made uh, with regard to the embassy, with regard to uh, Golan Heights, with regard to settlements, and obviously the breakthroughs with the Persian Gulf nations, UAE, Bahrain, uh, now Sudan, um, the decision to pull out of the Iran deal. Um, these are these are very uh, significant issues. Uh, and for them to engender a debate and for American Jews to be weighing these issues against domestic concerns that are so important to us that matter to our lives, um, the COVID crisis. I mean, think about all those things that came together uh, into one decision. You only get to cast one vote in one decision, and I think that um, you know that uh, it's understandable why this was such a emotional and uh, and intensively uh, uh, fought moment. So, how can this rift be healed? What do you do the day after? You know, the results are finalized. Yeah. So look, first of all, uh, we, we just simply have to treat with respect and, uh, uh, and civility the, the views of those who disagree with us. This is a, a, a high Jewish value. We all know, you know, the great stories from Al Talmud about the disagreements among the rabbis and uh, Elu ve Elu, right? Uh, both, you know, there, there's merit to both sides, but the, the side that, uh, that is that it prevails uh, was because uh, they treated the other with dignity and with respect. Um, uh, and we, we, must, we must model that value. We simply have no, uh, no other option. Um, and, uh, and then we have to uh, realize that we're not gonna convince necessarily the other side that we're right, um, but, that, but we have to work together on those things that, that are of common uh, interest uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I always say we have to be, we have to act, we're not uniform, Jewish people have never been uniform, but we have to be unified on the issues that, uh, that, we, are, that we are able and must work together on, and that includes the care and safety uh, uh, and engagement of our Jewish communities here in the United States, and it includes uh, our connections and our deep commitment uh, our unbreakable commitment to Israel uh, and to uh, Jews around the world. So those things unify us. Uh, uh, other things uh, on which we disagree, and our job is going to be to lift those things uh, uh, up that, that we are unified on. And uh, I, I'm confident we can do that. We've done it in the past. Uh, this has been a contentious election. It's not over yet, um, but it's not the first time in the history of our country that we've had, uh, that we've had these kinds of divisions. Um, you know, we, we watch our we watch you in Israel, too, and we know you've had a series of contentious elections. Um, and while there are nobody thinks all the problems have, are resolved, um, we know that we have to and we will live together and we will uh, we will continue to 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 survive and thrive. Eric Fingerhut, president and CEO of the Jewish Federations of North America. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.